Hi, my name is Sha and this is Tech Moments. Today, we're unboxing the Redmi 9 from Xiaomi. So I've got the carbon gray with the three gigabyte RAM and the 32 GB model here. So let's get unboxing. Now, as I go through this unboxing, I just wanted to mention it would really help if you could subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. Thank you. So the motive behind this video is just to give you guys a visual understanding of what the Redmi 9 looks like out of the box and also what sort of features it has in terms of hardware. I will be switching it on, I will be using it further more extensively and you will see a full review hopefully coming up maybe in the next few days or so. So as I unpack this box, I just want to also run through that the reason behind this actual picking or selection of this phone is because I think it is the value king under that £150 mark. Yes, under £150, this is the Redmi 9. And first thing that grabs me is the quad camera setup. Very flush, clean, slim sides, and you've got the speaker on the top there. And really, the phone on the hand it feels great. It's not been fully unwrapped yet, but in terms of what I can see visually and what I can feel, it's not a bad size. Yes, it's a 6.53 inch display, so it is a big phone, but definitely for the price, I am getting a good, good feeling about this phone. So Xiaomi has included for the Redmi 9 other standout features, clearly the 30 megapixel AI quad camera setup, the over 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Now that's a biggie for me as well. It's one of the reasons I bought this phone to show you guys how much value you can get at this very low price point. And finally, you've got the Helio G80 processor, which um, is not the fastest, of course, and I will see if it's not the slowest either. But um, stay tuned for that initial, you know, update when I do get to play with this phone a bit further. So now let's listen in on that unwrapping with the Redmi 9 from Xiaomi. Out of the box, Xiaomi includes the usual suspects. You've got your paperwork, and surprisingly here, you've also got a silicon case. And that straight out of the box, I think is very generous. And also along with that, you've got your other usual things, which is the charging brick, the charging cable, along with the ejector tool. I want to briefly just go over that charging brick. It is a 10 watt fast, fast charger. And to be honest, it's not the fastest thing that you can get from this phone. What do I mean? The Redmi 9 actually has 18 watt cap capabilities with fast charging. And it's a real shame. I will touch on this um, after my review of the Redmi 9. But as you can see, 10 watts only included in the box it's just not good enough but then again am i supposed to expect more from a phone that cost me 99 quid um maybe not so let me know what you guys think in the comments and i want to know as well what you guys think so far of this unboxing and what you think i would make of this phone while i use it there's the cable and the sim ejector tool is what else is left in the box now, before I sign off, I just want to show you guys the fully unwrapped, unboxed Redmi 9 in its flesh. And to be honest, this was the textured back I was thinking about and looking at as soon as I opened the phone from its box. And to be honest, it surprised me how good it feels in the hand. It's quite rugged. It's not too sort of, you know, grippy, but it's not slippery at all. And there's the functioning of the phone. You've got your volume and your power button. And then at the bottom, you've got the ports for the charger and a headphone jack, which is always nice to see. And to be honest, I think Redmi have really done well so far. And I, I will say so far, I am very, very impressed. So that's my thoughts after the unboxing of the Redmi 9. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. And also hit that subscribe button on the bottom right of your screen so you know when I make more content like this. Like I said, there's an upcoming full review of this phone coming up. And also let me know if you think this was a good video by giving it a thumbs up. And even if you thought it wasn't, give it a dislike. So depending on what you deserve, what you think it deserves, rate it and that's it from me and that's it from this video hopefully i'll see you guys in the next tech moment